Hello everyone and welcome to this very special video where I'm going to show you my brand new system that one shots WordPress directories just like this one. Now obviously this one has a couple of problems, for example the colors, etc. But if I just show you guys what this looks like, if I click on all of these different pages, you'll see each one has individual SEO, addiction therapists in California. It's very, very well laid out. There are no addiction therapists. Let's go to ADHD instead. Uh, let's scroll down so you can see one ADHD therapist available. This was one shot. Everything you can see on your screen right now was created by one extremely simple prompt. Now, if I show you the individual uh, therapist pages, you can see again, just looks really, really nice. Look at this. These are all the, the different locations. So Fresno. So we have locations, we have specialties, and then we have all therapists where you can search all therapists. Now let's show you this in action, guys. It's very, very simple. Basically, it's all based off this Claude.md, and that's literally it. That's the whole magic of this. Now I'm going to show you this in action now. So let's do cd. Dot. We'll do mkd new folder, cd new folder, git clone this, and then this. Oh, that didn't work. Sorry, I need to get the actual, there we go. So git clone this and then that, there we go. Now when I write Claude dash dash dangerously skip permissions. Now what have I added since yesterday? If I do slash MCP, you'll see. Okay, so the problem is you can't run Claude dangerously allow browsing. You have to just run Claude. So let's just try this again. So um, play here. Play your right test. So the way this works is it should just clone the uh, entire project, including the MCP. So git clone, there we go. Run Claude, there we go. So you can see execution allowed by mcp.json and the entire thing comes with Playwright already installed. This works for Windows, uh, sorry, this works for Mac. Uh, for Windows, you may have to change the command slightly, but I wouldn't say it should be too large of a problem. It might work on Windows. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it out. So from here, we literally have everything we need to create a directory. The only other thing we need, sorry, is a Gina API key. So just go to Gina.ai. This is completely free. Press API here, and then just press copy here on this API keys. I'm going to say use this Gina API key, create for the API key and then create me a directory for therapists and psychiatrists in California. And then we'll hit enter. And basically this is just now going to create an entire directory just from that prompt. So because I ran dangerously or I didn't run dangerously skip permissions actually, so let's just exit out. Let's do claw dash dash dangerously skip permissions. And then I'm going to say continue spin up multiple sub agents to speed things up and press enter. Now this might mess everything up, but I want you to know that that was the exact prompt that I used to create this that you can see here. And then if I just go on Docker, I'll just show you a few more examples as well that we created recently. So let's just do last started here. Sort by last started. Um, Okay, for some reason they've all disappeared. I'm not really sure what's going on there. So we'll just we'll just let this run. It's fine. Okay, so what happens here is it removes the old running one if you've got one already running, and then it basically launches a full new one. So now if I go on localhost, you'll see this is a brand new WordPress installation instead of the directory that I had before. And then it just started um, trying to launch multiple specialized agents, but I'm just telling it to stop for one second and do the research first because it needs to know the research in order to create the website. Okay, guys, so as promised, this is the result. Now, I did have to ask the bot to basically publish the uh, therapists because for some reason it wasn't publishing them. But then, you know, after I said that, so you might have to do this yourselves, it did publish them. Now, there is a problem with the menu here. I'm not really sure what the hell's going on there. But overall, let's just refresh this. Overall, if I click on this, for example, this is an example of a single page. New patient's not accepting, that's pretty cool. And then if I go here, these are um, uh, these are taxonomy pages. 
okay so like these are pages if you're trying to rank for a specific thing now this seo needs a bit of work this hasn't actually gone through with the seo changes but i'm constantly adapting the workflow i'm constantly changing the memory so in the future this will have a better prompt for memory but you can just see just how good and high quality this actually is now someone told me this was impossible someone told me that it wouldn't be able to do front end etc etc i think i've proven people wrong with this video i think this looks pretty damn good to be honest with you it could be better obviously but i mean it, it could always be better right that's just that's true of anything let's just see if mobile is any good so let's just open it up here mobile looks fine beautiful actually looks better on mobile and yeah overall really really happy with the result here it's even got breadcrumbs look at that beautiful so we've got providers here this is all of the providers and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, this was a one. This is one single prompt, and then a little bit of pushing, saying, "Oh, you forgot to publish the providers, right?" And then, yeah, that's everything. If I go here, there should be a providers import where I can add new providers easily. It looks like there actually isn't. So you'd have to. Uh, okay, so you'd have to add your own system for importing. It didn't actually add it here. You can add them, but you can't add them programmatically it seems so you could also just say for example keep adding more so i can say keep adding more um, people but yeah i won't go through that now but i could just get it to keep adding people right and then when it adds a new person it will automatically add a new page like this if needs be right so after a couple of hours of working after this like vibe prompting saying give me more give me more add more pages, add more this, add more that, just keep adding pages, you'll have a website that has thousands and thousands of pages. This was previously thought impossible by me at least on WordPress, but now we're at the point where we can actually start to build WordPress directories programmatically, which is a very, very exciting time indeed. Now, this content is very, very special to me because I really, really believe in this project because i think this could be the next big thing basically being able to generate your own wordpress website just using a custom core custom clawed code workflow these workflows are extremely easy to create as well all i've done right is worked with one single clawed code conversation where it created me a docker wordpress environment to basically code in and then it created me a script to push that code to DigitalOcean. And then I worked on things like adding the Playwright MCP automatically. So when you download the GitHub repo or when you clone it, you automatically have the Playwright MCP ready to go. This kind of stuff is really, really exciting to me. There are a few more changes I want to make. I want to just make sure that the menus are all working properly every single time. And just a few other things like that. But overall, absolutely amazing result i'm super super happy to see this and yeah i'm I, i'm really excited to see what people think of this video as well so let's just search this here let's see if the ajax filtering works as well okay it looks like the ajax filtering doesn't well yeah no these things are you? no okay so it doesn't work right now but you know that's just another quick fix there's a 404 there as well 404 there as well okay i'll leave the video there guys thank you so much for watching you can find the github project in the description of this video and yeah if you're watching all the way to the end of the year you're an absolute legend i'll see you very very soon with some more content peace out